Hello, this is Louise Hay. Welcome to my Personal Power Through Imagery series of visualization. In this exercise, anger releasing is one that I have done in my workshops, and many of the participants have asked that I record it so they can continue the releasing process whenever anger comes up as an issue. Holding on to old anger is a way of keeping yourself stuck in the past and creating illness. There's nothing wrong with anger if we have it and express it in a positive way and then let it go. Anger held for a long time becomes resentment and resentment eats away at the body and contributes to diseases like cancer and arthritis. In this exercise, you will have the opportunity to release anger with five people in your life. You can do this exercise from time to time to clear your subconscious mind. Each time you do it, you may have different people or some of the same people. It doesn't matter. Our clearing is done on levels and layers. However you do it is right for you. Remember, you are always safe and you are always in charge. You can stop the exercise any time you want by just opening your eyes. Breathe deeply and relax your body completely. Just let go. And in your imagination, I'd like you to walk over to an elevator and enter that elevator and push the down button and you feel the elevator doors close and the elevator goes down and down and then it stops and the doors open and you step out into a large well-lit room and you feel so safe in this room and you look with wonder all about you. And you look up and you see the most beautiful crystals everywhere. You know why you are here. You have come to leave your anger behind so that you can be free. Take a deep breath and in your mind ask for help someone who will keep you safe and will help you deal honestly with your anger. Someone to be there with you. So ask for that now. And from a corner of the room comes a helper, a guide. As they approach smiling, it's as though they have waited for you for a long time. They welcome you. And then they begin. This helper now brings out the first person. You remember your anger at them. Then the guide brings out the second person and places them a little apart but in a line with the first. Then the third person comes out. And you realize how very angry you are at these people. Then the fourth is brought out and placed in line. And finally, the fifth person walks up. And you see them all standing there before you. Your helper comes and stands behind your right shoulder to let you know that they are there to support you. You take a deep breath and you walk over to the first person. Look into their eyes. Allow yourself to feel the anger towards them. Allow this anger to build. 
Allow your body to experience this anger. Start telling them how you feel and what you are so angry about. This is not a time to be polite. Tell them what you would like to do to them because they have caused you so much pain. Tell them now. Be as loud and as angry as you want to be. Tell it all. Hold nothing back. Let your body move. Shake your fist. Do whatever you need to do. Express your feelings. Your guide is there to support you and to give you strength. Tell them everything you need to tell them. Do whatever you need to do. You know it is safe to do this. And then let yourself finish what you have to say to this person. And then move and stand in front of the second person and look at them. Allow your anger towards them to be expressed. Feel free to tell them whatever you want to tell them. Be free to express your anger at this person. Tell them about the pain about what they did to you. Tell them about the loneliness. Tell them about all the times you needed them and they weren't there. Do it now. Do it. Tell them everything in the most clear and direct way that you can. Tell them all. You have a right to your feelings. They have to listen. Say what you need to say and then step back, take a breath, and move over to the third person and really look at them. And just when you thought that maybe your anger was gone, here it is again, building in your chest. You remember all the times you had things to say and couldn't. Now is your opportunity. Tell them. Tell this person. Let them know. Tell them about all your feelings, how you felt. Be as angry and as physical as you want. You have a right to be physical. Let it out. Let it out. Tell them, show them, make them feel your pain. It's safe. You're safe. 
It's okay. It's your turn. It's your turn now. Express your feelings. Go for it. Just let all that stuff flow out from you until you feel that you are finished. Keep going until you finish with this person. And know that there is more in there. Good. Good. All right. Let yourself finish with this third person. Let it go out. Take a deep breath. Feel the support of your helper behind you. Know that your guide is there. Now move in front of the fourth person. Maybe this person surprised you a little, but you know what you're angry at. You know and you know where in your body you've been hiding this anger. Let that space open. And then you tell them with the total intensity of your anger, be real. Be real. Do it now. Do it now. Let yourself feel and let yourself express. It's safe to express. Let yourself express. Get that anger out. You don't want to hold it inside you. It's been there too long. Let it out. Let it come out of the joints. Let it come out of those organs. Let it out. It's been eating away at your body. Let it out. That's it. Let it flow out. Let it out. Okay. All right. All right. Yes. Good. Good. Let yourself finish with this fourth person. Let it go. You've got one more person to go. Just step back and touch the hand of your guide. Know that you are okay and that you are safe. You are supported and protected. Okay, now let's move in front of the fifth and last person. Oh boy, this is old anger. This is old anger and you feel it. Your body feels it. You feel this anger. It's way in there. Okay, go ahead and let this person know what you are really angry about. You never had the opportunity to tell them. You were always afraid of them. You never let them know. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Let this person know. Tell them. Tell 
told him what you're so angry about. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Tell them. Tell them. They need to know. They need to know this. Allow yourself the freedom. Tell them how angry you really are. Let that child in you express what you feel. Let it go. Good. All right. Yes. You know it's in there. You know it's in there, now let it out. Good. Wonderful. Let it out. It feels so good to let it out. Just let it go. Oh, that felt good. That really felt good. Just let yourself finish with that fifth person. And as you finish with this person, let yourself step back a few steps. And you just stand there and you look at them all. Look at all of them. See them in a line in front of you. And you look at them and you think about all that pain and all the destruction and all the wasted time. All that time you wasted holding all that in. And as you look at all of them, you concentrate now on that first person. You really look at them. And you allow the anger to build. You feel it in the bottom of your feet. And you let it come up. And you feel the rage. All that rage locked behind your knees the resentment in your pelvis, you feel it all. All that hurt in your stomach, you feel it. You feel it all coming up your body. Gather that fear in your chest and come up to that stuck place in your throat and that locked place in your jaw and all the painful thoughts in your mind. And you take all this anger and you bring it up in your right arm and you bring your right arm above your head and you point your finger to the ceiling and you gather energy from those crystals on the ceiling and flow all this anger into your hand and your finger you point your finger and as the intensity builds and as the anger builds you lower your arm and the anger shoots out of your finger and blows that first person apart absolutely blows them apart and a little pile of dust settles where they once were and they're gone they're gone. Oh, and you feel so powerful. So you look at the second person. And once again, you take a deep breath 
And you raise your hand to the ceiling as you allow this anger to build again. And you feel the rage in your arm, in your hand, in your finger. And you lower your hand again. And all this rage shoots out of your finger, disintegrating the second person. Oh boy, there they go. And once again, there is only a little pile of ashes left. That's all that's left. Then turn to the third person. With all the anger you've released, you find there is still more. There's lots more. You're determined to be finished with it this time. Make contact with this third person. Look straight into their eyes. Raise your hand to the ceiling and gather your power and your anger and your rage and lower your arm with all the power you have as you blast this person to nothing. And you watch the dust settle. Then Turn to the fourth person as you breathe deeply. Feel all the old fury. Feel that fury. And as your arm goes to the ceiling, gather your power in your hand and in your finger. And then it comes down with a determination and an absolute laser of power leaves your hand and destroys this fourth person. And all that is left is settling dust. And then turn to the fifth and last person. And remember the old anger. Bring it from the bottom of your feet all through your body. And you raise your arm one last time. And you let yourself feel the intensity of this rage all through your body. And you raise your arm one last time. And you let yourself feel the intensity of this rage and you draw your power into your arm and your hand and your finger and you know what you're angry about. And then you lower your arm and you release the rest of your rage at this fifth person who absolutely explodes and becomes a tiny little pile of dust. And you look before you and you see the destructive force of pent-up anger and you realize how dangerous that can be. And it's not how you really want to be. And you turn and look at your guide and you feel their compassion. And they are so pleased with you for finally letting go of so much of what you have carried. And for a moment, you step into their arms and place your head on their shoulder. And you allow yourself to be held and comforted. And you thank them. And then you step back. And as you step back, your guide turns you around. And there in front of you 
are the people you have just destroyed. Only this time, they are very different. And you stand in front of the first person, just a few inches from their eyes. And you look in their eyes, and you see what you haven't seen before. You see their sorrow and their pain. You see all the self-hatred. And if you can, you feel compassion for this person. And you step back. and you surround them in violet light. And if you're ready, and you can honestly say so, look them right in the eye and say, I forgive you. And let the violet light begin to vibrate you see their body begins to vibrate and they become part of the violet light and fade up and out through the top of the room. In your forgiveness, you have set them free and you are free too. Now step up to that second person and look into their eyes. And you're startled as you see the amount of pain they have been carrying. And it surprises you that they could be alive with so much pain. If you can, you open your heart and you agree to forgive them. Not to allow them to ever hurt you again, but simply to forgive them. If you can, surround them with violet light and look into their eyes as you say, I forgive you. The violet light vibrates. They become the violet light and lift up through the ceiling to be set free. Now look into the eyes of the third person and you see what is really there. You notice the sorrow and the self-disgust and the fear. And you have compassion. If you can, surround them with violet light and say to them, I forgive you. And if you can, watch the violet light vibrate until their spirit is set free to move up and away. And then you move in front of the fourth person and you look at them for a moment as you really see them. You see what's really there. And if you can, surround them with the violet light and look at them as you say, I forgive you. And watch as they disappear into the violet light and the light floats up and away. And now the fifth person. Stand in front of them, close to them, and look. You will see them wince as you look into their eyes. You see so much fear. 
and you have compassion. You lovingly surround them with the violet light and make sure they see you as you say, I forgive you. And you watch as the violet light consumes them and they disappear up through the ceiling. And all is done and gone except for you and your guide. And you take a deep breath and notice how much lighter your body feels. And you know that once space is cleared, it is important to fill that space with light. There is so much beautiful light in this room. You take the light, the beautiful colored light, and you fill the old spaces within you where the anger once was. You fill those spaces with light and with color and with rejoicing. And you feel like dancing. And you dance around the room. First separately, and then with your guide. And you find yourself filled with joy and freedom. You feel so light and so joyous. And you dance in the air and your feet don't even touch the ground. You are so light and so free. Then you end your dance and you bow to each other in honor and respect. And you realize that it is time to say goodbye to your guide, knowing that you can come back to this room any time you want. This is a very safe space to let go of anger. You say goodbye to your guide and you return to the elevator and the elevator takes you up and you feel so secure and free and loving. And as the elevator door opens, you go outside and you look out in the evening sky and there is a shooting star greeting you in welcome and in joy. And you realize you are helping the whole planet by releasing the darkness and bringing in the light. And you watch the stars twinkle and shine and you feel one with everyone. And you let this experience be real for you. And when you are ready, you can return to the room. Be gentle and tender with yourself. All is well.